In this video, we are going to look at arthrokinematic assessment and treatment for the plantar capsule of the lateral intertarsals. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The aim of road glide assessment is to gain information on the reactivity of the joint and of course articular problems such as capsular limitations. When talking about the lateral intertarsal joints, we are referring to the articulation between the calcaneus and cuboid, as well as the cuboid and metatarsal joint 4 and 5. In both cases, the proximal joint partner is convex and distal joint partner concave, so we will have to roll and glide in the same direction. To conduct this technique, the patient is in supine lying position and the foot is placed over the edge of the bench. Position yourself medially to the foot, either standing or sitting on a stool. Then fixate the foot with one hand by grabbing onto the talus. Place the hypothena of the other hand on the cuboid from plantar. And then roll and glide into dorsal and lateral direction with a slight distal component. Moving distally, place a finger over the cuboid and then the hypothena of the other hand on the fifth and fourth metatarsal from plantar and then roll and glide into dorsal and lateral direction with a slight distal component. Assess for movement quality during roll and glide, possible pain provocation and end feel. For end feel assessment, roll and glide to end range. Then assess if further gliding is possible or not. In a hypomobile joint, the glide is reduced relative to the roll component, so no further gliding is possible. If you feel that the end feel or movement quality is abnormal, you can directly move further from assessment to intervention, as the movements that are performed are essentially the same. When used as an intervention, make use of the Maitland grades of mobilization to dose your techniques depending on your goals. Check the video in the top right corner to learn more about that. Okay, you've reached the end of the video and if you like, you can check out more videos on manual therapy in the playlist to my left. Again, check the info icon in the top right corner for the featured videos and also take a look at the links in the video description down below. At last, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will let you know once we release new videos. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.